The Committee of the Whole of the Vimina Trente Sais and the Legislature in Guahan is called to honor called to order to honor the late Honorable Doris Teresita Flores Lujan, former mayor of Inalahan. Please rise. Morning. I'd like to acknowledge the presence in the session hall, the gallery, and the public hearing room of the island's dignitaries, including our governor, our chief justice, senators of the 36th Guam legislature, the mayor's council. I extend my regrets to the many other island dignitaries who our session hall was unable to accommodate due to the public health guidelines. We ask guests to please abide by social distancing guidelines in order to keep each other safe. We will now begin with the presentation of colors by the Guam safety officers, public safety officers. I call upon the members of Imina Trente Sais and Alejes Leterin Guahan to lead in the singing of the national anthem and the Guam hymn.
recitation of Inifresi, will Senator Peter Terlahi kindly lead us? Inifresi. Kini ni mas tak kilo gikorosono. I mas tak kilo gikorosono. Jadi mas figo dan ini nasinya aku. Linguahi, iairi, ihanom, jadi tanu cemoro, new freshi. Nah, saya juga gini di jauh setata. Estio fit mai gini hilu ibi biblia. Jadi banding rahu pada dalam gua ham. Jauh masi. I call on Reverend Father Romeo Convocar to deliver the invocation. Please remain standing. From the letter of Paul to the Romans. None of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of God, for it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bend before me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then each of us shall give an account of himself to God. God, our loving Father, we recognize that all life comes from you. All life belongs to you. And in your perfect time, all life will also return to you. Father, as we are gathered in the presence of the body of the former mayor of Inalahan, our beloved Honorable Doris Flores Luhan, your words remind us that none of us should live and die just for self. Indeed, we are yours, dead or alive, we are yours. We give you thanks for the gift of the very person of the beloved former mayor, Doris Flores Luhan, who offered her life to you, her Lord and God, in the generous and faithful service of country and of our people. Merciful Lord, as you know the anguish of the sorrowful, and as you are attentive to the prayers of the humble, hear us now, your people, who mourn over her death, Grant us strength on this moment of sadness and strengthen our hope for eternal life in heaven. God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant Doris. Do not count her deeds against her, for she desired to do your will. As her faith united her to your people on earth, so may your mercy join her to the community of the angels and saints in heaven. We ask this through our Lord, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, God, forever and ever. Please be seated. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's uh, please please remain standing. Please be seated. Senator Shelton, Legislative Secretary, you are recognized to read Resolution Number 183-36-LF.
Resolution number 183-36 LS, introduced by Therese M. Terlahi, Mary Camacho Torres, Talina C. Nelson, Tello C. Taitagui, Jose Pito Terlahi, Tina Rose Munya Barnes, Amanda L. Shelton, Sabina F. Perez, Joe S. San Augustin, Clinton E. Rigel, Christopher M. Duenas, Frank Blas Jr., V. Anthony Ada, Joanne Brown, and James C. Moylan. Relative to posthumously recognizing the late Honorable Doris Teresita Flores Lujan, former mayor of Inalahan, for her public service and dedication to the people of Inalahan and our island community, and extending sincere condolences to her family on her passing on behalf of the people of Guam. Be it resolved by Imena Trentai Sais Nalahesla Turin Guahan, whereas it is the sense of Ilahesla Turin Guahan to honor the life and service of those distinguished citizens of this great island, and is the custom of Ilahesla Turin Guahan to pay tribute to those individuals whose public service and civic contributions serve to improve the quality of life for Guam residents and attendant to such concern, and in full accord with its long-standing traditions, it is further the intent of Ilahesla Turin Guahan to posthumously honor the late Honorable Doris Teresita Flores Lujan, former mayor of Inalahan. And the late Doris Teresita Flores Lujan was born on October 1st, 1946, and resided in the village of Inalahan. She is the daughter of the late Tan Maria Flores Lujan, also known as Marikitan Laling, and she had a brother, the late Joseph Frederick Lujan, fondly known as Freddy. And the late Doris Teresita Flores Lujan attended Inalahan Elementary School and Inalahan Junior High School, and she graduated from George Washington High School in 1965. And after graduating from high school, the late Doris Teresita Flores Lujan began her public service career at Anderson Air Force Base Guam, where she served as the base wing and communications squadron commander's secretary for 20 years, from 1965 through 1985. And she then served as the base records manager Freedom of Information Act Manager and Privacy Act Officer for 22 years from 1985 through 2007. She also served as the Deputy Officer of the Base Information Management, which oversaw the overall operation of the Base Publications Distribution Office, the Base Reproduction Branch, the Base Records Management Branch, and the Military Postal Service Center. And during her outstanding civil service career, the late Doris Teresita Flores Lujan was the recipient of numerous awards, such as the Headquarters Air Force Outstanding Career Service Award from the Headquarters Pacific Air Forces, the Communications and Information Management Professionalism Award, which she received three times throughout her career. The Team Anderson Federal Woman of the Year Award in 2002, and she was recognized as an outstanding performer of the Headquarters Inspector General Inspection in 2007. And after 42 years of dedicated service, which also included numerous educational and training courses, she retired from Anderson Air Force Base Guam in 2007. And upon retiring from her civil service career, the late Doris Teresita Flores Lujan became a breast cancer survivor. And during her retirement, she supported various nonprofit and volunteer organizations, such as the Guam Micronesian Games, the Guam Special Olympics, the American Cancer Society's Relay for Life, the Guam Jungle Bell 4K Run Walk, and World AIDS Day. And she also served as an extraordinary minister. 
Prior to becoming an elected official, the late Doris Teresita Flores Lujan was instrumental in the restoration of the Malolo Multipurpose Court, which allowed the youth within the community to have a recreational court to practice sports and utilize the facility to promote recreational activity. And in 2012, the late Honorable Doris Teresita Flores Lujan made history as the first woman elected to be the mayor of the village of Inalahan, and the people of Inalahan elected her twice to serve as the mayor. During her first term, the late Honorable Doris Teresita Flores Lujan fought to keep the Malolo transfer station open for Southern residents to use to prevent further illegal dumping and the undue burden of commuting to other transfer stations. And she attained the support of all the Southern mayors in her efforts to keep the Malolo transfer station open. And the late Honorable Doris Teresita Flores Lujan worked with former Senator Tom Atta to correct the record and placed track 3620 under the administrative jurisdiction of the Inalahan Mayor's Office and the Inalahan Municipal Planning Council. Through achieving this important step, the late Honorable Doris Teresita Flores Lujan and her IMPC fought tirelessly for the construction and development of a multi-purpose facility through a community block grant from the Guam Housing and Urban Renewal Authority. And the late Honorable Doris Teresita Flores Lujan championed the efforts to ensure that critical public health and senior services were provided to Southern residents to relieve Southern families from taking their loved ones to the island's central and northern centers. And she partnered with the Guam Department of Public Health and Social Services Division of Senior Citizens to establish the Adult Daycare South, which was provided at the Inalahan Senior Citizen Center. And the late Honorable Doris Teresita Flores Lujan ensured that the people of Inalahan had access to various educational programs and opportunities. And Inalahan piloted the Community Access Program which provided residents with free online training via the key train component of work keys that assisted in finding employment opportunities. She also partnered with the Guam Community College to do a remote GED program at the Inalahan Community Center and also partnered with TLC Driving Center to conduct various remote courses to ensure Southern residents had the opportunity to obtain their driver's permit process. And the late Honorable Teresita Flores Lujan ensured the Inalahan Community Center became a place for the village's youth to have access to a computer room to do homework and school projects. And for the community center to include having gym equipment to promote a healthy lifestyle. She collaborated with her IMPC to have the Inalahan and Malolo basketball courts, as well as the Malolo volleyball court upgraded with non-skid surfaces to provide added safety, as well as beach bleachers for spectators and parents to watch sports events. And in 2006, the late Honorable Doris Teresita Flores Lujan successfully hosted over 200 delegates from the Republic of Palau during the 12th Festival of the Pacific Arts. And she had served as a representative of the Mayor's Council of Guam on the Workers' Compensation Commission. And the late Honorable Doris Teresita Flores Lujan was reelected in 2016, and she served as Secretary of the Mayor's Council of Guam from 2017 through January 2021. And throughout her two terms in office, the late Honorable Doris Flores Lujan would bring the concerns of not only her constituents in Inalahan, but of the Southern community as a whole to the attention of our elected leaders. And she sought the assistance from various elected officials to improve the roadways and bridges in her village 
the need for critical infrastructure in the Iha subdivision in Inalahan, as well as the deteriorating road conditions in Chigam and Lagu, and she encouraged cultural preservation, as well as the recognition and establishment of memorials at World War II camps in Inalahan. And the late Honorable Doris Teresita Flores Lujan was called to eternal rest on September 22nd, 2021. And the people of our island and the community she loved join her family in mourning her passing. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Imina Chantai Sais Nalehas Latour in Guahan does hereby, on behalf of the people of Guam, posthumously recognize the late Honorable Doris Teresita Flores Lujan, former mayor of Inalahan, for her public service and dedication to the people of Inalahan and our island community, and extend sincere condolences to her family on her passing on behalf of the people of Guam. And be it further resolved that the speaker certify and the legislative secretary attests to the adoption hereof and that copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to the family of the late Honorable Doris Teresita Flores Lujan, former mayor of Inalahan, to the Honorable Jesse L.G. Alec, president of the Mayor's Council of Guam, and to Mr. Angel R. Sablon, executive director of the Mayor's Council of Guam, and to the Honorable Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero, E. Magahagan Guahan, duly and regularly adopted by Imina Trentai Sai Snelehas Latour in Guahan on the 29th day of September 2021. I invite Senator Shelton, Legislative Secretary, Acting Vice Speaker, and Assistant Majority Leader. Senator Perez, our Majority Whip, and Minority Leader Senator Duenas to join me in presenting Resolution Number 183-36 LS to the family of the late mayor. I invite Imaga Haka, Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero, to present the Governor's Proclamation. I invite Imagahaga and the Chief Justice to join me in presenting the official wreath of Guam.
I invite Mayor Jesse Alec to present the mayoral wreath and Mayor Anthony P. Chargolov of Inalahan to present the mayoral certificate. Now um, invite Wakin Quinn P. Taitagui to deliver the eulogy. Buenas, Mananis Izuas, Madam Speaker, Imogahaga, Mr. Chief Justice. Members of Imina Trentai Sais, Nales Loturin and members of the Mayor's Council of Guam. Doris was a truly inspirational woman who believed in herself and lived by the belief that sometimes the good gals do win. If you commit to doing the best job possible, you can truly make a difference. Doris asked so little of others, but gave so much of herself hoping to improve the community she loved. Doris could have taken the easy path and simply retired after dedicating 42 years of making the drive from Inalahan to Anderson Air Force Base in Jiku. She could have chosen to give up when diagnosed with early signs of breast cancer. Doris chose to fight this battle and won. Doris initially chose to enjoy a few years with family and friends during her retirement years. Her faith in her God compelled her to do more. With the encouragement of her family and friends, Doris expressed an interest in a run for mayor. Doris did what Doris does best. She listened to the concerns of the community and knew that she had to step up. And step up, she did. Doris was able to unite constituents who would seal her place in history by becoming the first female mayor of her village. Doris was humble. Doris often was the quietest person in the room. Doris understood that her work and actions would speak louder than she could physically manage. Doris sought improvements to the village's basketball and volleyball courts, a place where the youth could engage in practices for sports. Doris led with a sense of passion for not only her constituents in Inalahan, but all Southern residents. She advocated for the Malolo transfer station to remain open as the community was concerned about a rise in illegal dumping, which would have devastating effects on Southern communities. Doris campaigned for necessary infrastructure improvements in the Iha subdivision and Chigam and Lagu, an issue that Doris fought vigorously for to ensure that residents had continued access to their land and the ability to build improvements. Doris worked with elected officials and agencies for road improvements. And prior to the end of her second term, Doris was able to see the fruits of her efforts in Malolo. Doris advocated and ensured that programs continue to be available to Southern residents at the Inalahan Community Center, 
as well as the Inalahan Senior Citizen Center. Doris advocated that Southern residents should have access to healthcare without having to travel to central and northern villages. One of the biggest accomplishments Doris was able to achieve was securing the land necessary for the construction and development of a multi-purpose facility for the village of Inalahan. Without Doris's vision and leadership, the Community Development Block Grant could not have been realized. Doris was truly a daughter of the South. She was a selfless woman who was always willing to help others in need. Doris was compassionate in a way that was oftentimes motherly, for that's probably how Doris saw herself, as the mother of the village and the community, her children. Doris would defend the village's interests, ensuring the well-being of her people. I am honored to have witnessed her actions. To watch her work was awe-inspiring. It never dawned on me that we would be saying goodbye to her so soon. Doris would want us to remember her in the good times. You get to rest now, Mayor. You have fought the good fight. For all your hard work that you have done for our beautiful village, I, along with countless others, will not soon forget your dedication. And in case there was any doubt that Doris was not destined for public service, we used to joke about her birthday being on, on October 1st which for many of us would be the start of the new fiscal year. To this wonderful woman who will forever be my mayor of Inalahan. I would now invite Imaga Haga, the Chief Justice, members of Imina Trente Sais, and Alihas Latour and Guahan, honored guests and friends, to bid farewell to the late Honorable Doris, Doris Teresita Flores Lujan, former mayor of Inalaha.
I now call upon Reverend Father Romeo Kumnakar to deliver the benediction. Please rise. Loving Father, God of faithfulness and power, in your wisdom you have called out of this world our beloved former mayor, Doris Flores Luhan. We humbly entrust her to you. Release her from the bands of sin and death and welcome her into your presence so that she may enjoy eternal rest, light, and peace and be raised into the glory with all your saints. The old order has passed away. Welcome her to paradise, where there will be no sorrow, weeping, nor pain, but fullness of joy and peace. May the God of peace, which is beyond all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and His Son, Jesus Christ. And may the Lord bless you, keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Assistant Majority Leader, Senator Shelton, you are recognized. Madam Speaker, I move that we rise from the Committee of the Whole and adjourn session subject to the call of the Speaker. Motion was made to rise from the Committee of the Whole and adjourn today's session subject to the call of the Speaker. Are there any objections? Seeing and hearing no objections, motion carries. This legislative session is adjourned.